Who is the best Gen 1 Pokemon? Everyone has their personal favorites, but today we'll be throwing all of that aside by simulating a battle royale between all 151 Generation 1 Pokemon. And to help us out, I had ChatGPT generate hundreds of different custom events and even some brand new Pokemon abilities that we'll be using in our simulation. Alright, let's get into it and see which Gen 1 Pokemon is actually the best. Starting off, a lot of Pokemon decided to immediately run from the center of the battlefield, but plenty of them did get right into the action. Mewtwo drops a heavy object from a high place. Golduck and Ivysaur below. I'm gonna assume that hit them. Mew picks up a miniature pink flamingo lawn ornament and carries it around like a pet, giving it a name and talking to it every now and then as if it were real. Gengar accidentally activates a trap that covers the battlefield in a thick layer of whipped cream. Mmm, delicious. Metapod uses Chaos Control. Chaos Control! Randomly warping itself and Tangela across the battlefield, causing it to fall out of bounds. Bellsprout uses Emotional Overload and becomes too overwhelmed with emotions, causing it to be eliminated from the battle due to poor judgment. Kabutops uses Irritable Bowel and lets out a loud stinky fart, causing Vaporeon and Golbat to become nauseous and eliminated from the battle out of disgust. Snorlax writes a haiku about the battle royale. Magikarp uses Awkward Silence and creates an awkward silence that lasts too long, causing Paris and Grimer to become uncomfortable and eliminated from the battle out of sheer awkwardness. Definitely been there. Execute is caught in the path of a magical tornado, which lifts it high into the air and causes it to faint upon crashing back to the ground. Marowak is hit by a speeding vehicle or train and faints. Staryu attempts to use a grappling hook to escape danger, accidentally pulls a nearby tower down, eliminating Dodrio, Ekans, Executor, Omanyte, Seal, Kabuto, and Slowpoke. Taros, Pidgeot, Venusaur, Goldeen, and Charizard are eliminated from a sudden and unexpected meteor shower that rains destruction from the skies. Blastoise accidentally sets off a nuclear warhead, eliminating Blastoise, Ponyta, Zapdos, Dratini, Ninetales, Machoke, Jigglypuff, Aerodactyl, Polyrath, Kangaskhan, and leaving behind a radioactive wasteland. Kingler has a staring contest with a nearby tree. Alright, so after one full day, 70 Pokemon have already been eliminated. Out of all the starters in their evolutions, Squirtle and Charmeleon are the only ones left. We also lost, among others, Jigglypuff, Arcanine, the entire Poly Trio, Gyarados, two of the Eevee evolutions, two of the legendary birds, and even Mewtwo and Mew. Alright, let's head into day two. Hero insists on wearing a cowboy hat at all times, even during formal events. Eevee uses a move that creates a swarm of insects to distract opponents. Diglett creates a pretend cooking show with imaginary ingredients. Vileplume uses Bubblegum Blast and shoots a sticky wad of gum that immobilizes Rattata. Weezing mistakenly activates a remote-controlled toy car, causing it to drive towards Rhyhorn, Pinsir, Clefable, and Porygon, and explode. Psyduck tries to balance on one foot for as long as possible. Snorlax uses Kawaii Eyes and makes cute, adorable eyes at Muck, causing them to become distracted and lowering their special defense. Alakazam, Grimer, Clefairy, Nidoking, Butterfree, and Vaporeon attempt to build a Pokemon Pyramid to get a better vantage point, but they all collapse and eliminate each other in the process. Firo uses Panic Attack and freaks out, running around in circles and accidentally falling off the battlefield. I think Firo forgot it could fly. Anyways, another day, another 27 Pokemon down, leaving just over 50 remaining. All right, let's move on to day three. Hypno uses Bubble Butt and inflates its butt, bouncing Lickitung, Machop, and Weeping Bell off the battlefield, eliminating them. Drowsy uses Chronic Tardiness and arrives too late to the battlefield, causing it to be disqualified and eliminated. 
Wait, Drazzy hasn't been here the whole time? Snorlax writes a love letter to Charmeleon. That's nice. I'm sure Charmeleon was really touched by that. Charmeleon uses accidental summon and accidentally summons a powerful monster that eliminates Kingler, Hypno, Pidgey, Tentacruel, Rattata, and Ditto. Sancho picks up a sparkly tiara and wears it proudly, pretending to be a princess or queen and commanding others to do their bidding. Magmar accidentally triggers a large-scale environmental disaster, such as a toxic spill or a nuclear explosion. Another nuke? We're still dealing with the other one! Okay, after just a few days, we're already down to our final 20 Pokemon. So we can definitely say that the best Gen 1 Pokemon is one of these that are still alive. Alright, let's continue and see how it plays out. Magneton discovers a box full of fake mustaches and decides to use them to disguise themselves and sneak around undetected. Zubat uses Stinky Breath and releases a foul odor that poisons Muck and causes them to faint. Ah yes, Muck, known for its weakness against foul odors. Snorlax licks objects to gain information about their taste or texture. Psyduck, Pikachu, and Magneton accidentally trigger a trap that covers them in sticky goo, making it impossible to move and leading to their elimination. Tentacool, Rapidash, and Zubat accidentally trigger a trap that covers them in sticky goo- How many of these sticky goo traps are there? Graveler KOs Sandshrew with a crowbar. And with that, we're down to our final 11 Pokemon- Dance Break! All of the remaining Pokemon head to the center of the battlefield for a much needed dance break. Snorlax shows off their sweet dance moves. Kakuna shows off their sweet dance moves. Alright, who's next? Arbok dances too hard and faints. Cubone dances too hard and faints. Oh. Oh no. No, stop dancing! Please! Please, everyone stop! Uh, okay, well, uh, let's just try to put that behind us. It looks like we've got five Pokemon remaining, so let's head into the next day. A giant monster suddenly appears and rampages through the arena, eliminating Snorlax, Kakuna, Ghastly, and Graveler before being defeated. Which means the winner and the best Generation 1 Pokemon is... Farfetch'd! Just like we all predicted. This video is a lot of fun to make, so if you like this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments and maybe consider subscribing. Until the next time, thanks for watching.